let us learn the method of adding two digit numbers quickly come children let me tell you a story one day a crow was thirsty and wandering around in search of water just then he saw a pot of water far away the crow was very happy and flew to the pitcher but the poor crow became very sad the water in the pitcher was very low the crow's beak could not reach the water the crow got an idea he thought that if he put stones in the pitcher the water in the pitcher will rise up and then he will be able to drink the water easily the crow set out in search of stones first he went to his friend bunny rabbit bunny gave him 21 stones then he went to gaggu hippo and gaggu gave him 15 stones can you tell me how many stones in total does the crow have now let's learn one more method of adding two digit numbers quickly we can write 21 by adding 1 and 20 like this and in the same way 15 can be written by adding 5 and 10 now we will write two digit numbers together and one digit numbers together like this now we will add the two digit numbers add 10 to 20 and it becomes 30 and now we add 5 to 1 we have 6 finally by adding 6 to 30 we get 36 oh yes the crow has collected a total of 36 stones the crow put these 36 stones in the pitcher and he was happy to see the water level rising up He immediately inserted his beak into the pitcher and tried to drink the water but the water was still very low. The crow left again in search of more stones. This time he went to his friend Appu elephant. Appu is very strong. He gave all together 42 stones to the crow. The crow was very happy and flew towards the pitcher. He was wondering if he now had enough stones. Come on, let us find out how many stones does he now have in total. The crow had a total of 36 stones to which he will add 42 stones given by Appu. We can write 36 by adding 6 to 30 and in the same way we can write 42 by adding 2 to 40 we will now write the two digit numbers together and add them add 30 to 40 and we get 70 we will write the one digit numbers together and add them add 2 to 6 and we get 8 Lastly we will add 8 to 70 and get 78. Yes, the crow has collected a total of 78 stones. The crow put the stones given by Appu into the pitcher. The water level came up. The crow was very happy and dipped his beak into the water and was able to drink the water. He drank water from the pitcher and happily flew away to his house. Children, in this lesson we learned the method of adding two digit numbers quickly. We will learn more about this in the next lesson. children we will play a fun game 
and let us try the method we learned in the previous lesson. Some puzzles are written in this house. Can you solve these puzzles by the method of quickly adding two digit numbers? With the correct answers to the puzzle, that part of the house will be filled with color. Well done children! Did your house also get colored on giving the correct answers? Come on children, let us learn another interesting method of adding two digit numbers. Let me tell you another story. Once there was a very good crop in the mango orchard of Babban. He called his three friends to take mangoes. Babban gave 25 mangoes each to his three friends. He then decided to give mangoes in a very unique way. He had filled mangoes in a big bag. He told his friends that he will take out mangoes from the bag using a box. Whatever is the number of mangoes that fill the box will be given to his friend. Bunny thought that if he takes mangoes in the end, there may not be any mangoes left for him. And so, he was the first to put his bag forward. Bubbin dipped the box in his big bag and took it out filled with mangoes. There were a total of 31 mangoes in the box. He put these mangoes in Bunny's bag. How many mangoes does Bunny have now? Come, let's add this together. Bunny had earlier got 25 mangoes. Now, he has got 31 more mangoes. How many mangoes does Bunny have now? To find out, we will add 31 to 25. Let's learn one more method of doing this. We can write 31 as 30 plus 1. Now, we will add 1 to 25. So now, how many? Yes, 26. This is very simple. To add 30 to 26, as we learned in the previous lesson, we can use a grid like this one we saw in Bunny's house. In this way, Bunny has a total of 56 mangoes. Bunny is very happy that he did a wise thing by being the first to take the mangoes. Now, Appu put his back forward. Babin once again put the box in his large bag and filled it with some mangoes. This time, a total of 44 mangoes were in Babin's box. He put these mangoes in Appu's bag. Let's see how many mangoes Appu has got. Appu first got 25 mangoes. Now, he has 44 more mangoes. How many mangoes does Appu have now? Let us add 44 and 25. We can write 44 as 40 plus 4. Is this right children? Now, we will add 4 to 25 and this will be 29. Lastly, how much is 29 plus 40? Absolutely right, 69. Appu got a total of 69 mangoes. In the end, it was Golu's turn. He put his bag forward. Babbin told Golu that all the mangoes left in the bag were his. There were 51 mangoes left in the bag. Babbin put all the remaining mangoes from his bag into Golu's bag. Children, can you tell me how many mangoes Golu has? Yes. Golu received a total of 76 mangoes. Golu very patiently waited and decided to be the last to take the mangoes. Children, you must remember that good things come to those who have patience.
In this lesson, we learned another interesting method of adding two digit numbers. Let us quickly learn to add and subtract the double digit numbers while moving around Bunny's house. Bunny's mother has hidden something special in these rooms for Bunny. To find out what it is, we have to solve some addition puzzles. On solving the last puzzle, we will find the hidden objects. Let's get started. First, we will go from room 24 to 34. We can do this one step at a time or in 10 steps like this. Is there a shorter way to go from 24 to 34? Yes. In this way, we can jump up and move from 24 to 34. How many steps is the jump from 24 to 34 equal to? Yes, this is equal to 10 steps. We can also write this as 24 plus 10 equals 34. Do you know an exciting thing about Bunny's house? If we jump up from any room, we can move 10 steps forward. That is, add 10. In the same way, if we take 2 jumps above, how many steps will we add? Twenty. Three jumps up. Thirty. In this way, one can easily add ten with every jump up from any room number. Can you tell me how much is 12 more than 33? Because now we know how to take a jump of 10. So why not use Bunny's house to find out how much is 12 more than 33? What do we have to do for this? Let's jump a long 10 from 33 then go two steps further. We reached 12 steps ahead of 33. 45. In this way, 45 is 12 more than 33. Children, can you solve this riddle by using the rooms of Bunny's house? How many jumps will he have to take this time? Oh yes, we will first take two long jumps and reach 20 steps ahead to reach 91. And then, absolutely right, three steps further ahead and 23 steps more than 71, we will reach 94. In this way, adding 23 to 71 would give us 94. Wow! We found what was hidden in the house. Bunny's mother had hidden toffee for Bunny in the rooms of the house. Children, you too can make a grid like Bunny's house and then try to find the answer to this puzzle. Children, in this lesson, we learned the easy way of adding two-digit numbers. We will learn more about this in the next lesson. <laughs>